So tell me about this fantastic dress. It's a Vera Wang. Do you have somebody that you go to for like final opinion before you walk out the door that gives you the thumbs up, whose opinion you really respect? I think my boyfriend mainly. I make sure he thinks I look good and then that's all. That you really know when, when the boyfriend <laughs> says that it looks good? Well, because I guess he would kind of always say that it looks good, but I trust him. <laughs> we have a little game of um, fill in the blanks. Will you play with us? Okay. You get to pick your card. My most embarrassing award show story is, oh wow, um, probably at last year's Emmys when Julia Louis-Dreyfus and Catherine Keeter had to help me pin up my tool that fell from underneath my dress in the woman's bathroom before I went on to present and was holding my breath the whole time to make sure it didn't fall out, and it didn't. Wow. That's the kind of good bonding that happens in women's was, bathrooms. I, you know, we became sisters after that. So. Yeah. I can see how you, you're a friend for life. If you help someone like pin up their tool, that's a good, a good woman. Five minutes before they have to go out on national television. Yes. Oh, you're dazzling in diamonds. I'm blinded. Can, can you tell me about this beautiful dress? It's a Manuel Angaro. And, and how did you, how did you come to pick it? Because I know that you get offered so many dresses. You know, I put it on, it's, first of all, it's very comfortable, but it's a color that I don't normally rock too much, and I'm, it's just very me. It's, it's very, like, casual in a weird way. Will you do a fill in the blank with us? I chose this dress because it really accentuates my, hmm, my eyes. There you go. It does accentuate your eyes. Yeah, green eyes, green dress. No, keep socializing, that's what it's, that's what it's all about. Meeting old friends, yes. meeting new friends. I actually, um, Chris, I was in one of Christina's movies when I first got out here. It was maybe the second part I ever did. It was in Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead. I had like three lines. And Christina was a star, but in 1988 or something. Is that one of the fun things about award season? You, you get to catch up with people that you, you don't get to see, that maybe you've worked say, with? I would say it's the most fun thing. And also to meet people that you, you like their work and you respect and you get to go up to them and say that you're a fan or whatever. Well, you're here tonight to accept the award for Heath Ledger, if he wins for Best if, Supporting Actor. If Heath wins, yeah, I'll be accepting for him. Which looks like it is very likely to happen. Everyone's talking about him winning this award. What does it mean to you to be able to come and accept for him tonight? Uh, well, I got a call from, I met the, uh, I met his family in New York. And we had a wonderful, uh, we had a wonderful evening with them. And, um, and they called and said, would I, would I do, would I do this one? And, and I think also that, that Chris Nolan has is is been accepting awards for Heath, you know, left, right and centre. So I think he's, you know, he's, he's, he's done his duty with, with, uh, with, with, with the Heath acceptance speeches. Can I ask you, did your gorgeous dress? Roberto Cavalli. And I see I have my cheat sheet right here, so I make sure I tell everybody jewelry by Martin Katz and Renee Kabila are the she's fabulous flats that I have. Oh, those are probably the fanciest flat flats I've ever seen. Aren't they nice? Because I got to tell you, by the end of the evening in heels, I'm so cranky. You have the cheat sheet for your clothes. Do you do a cheat sheet for your speech? Do you prepare or do um, you just wing it if you get up there? Not by the time you're at the third one and you haven't won. I think I'm just going to wing it when I when I get up there, if I should get up there. Yeah. You'll be taken by surprise. I'll be totally taken by surprise. You'll know that right now. Everyone so far around the world has really embraced it and it's just amazing to do a, your first project and have this sort of you know, this sort of recognition is just amazing. Yeah. You're carrying home the awards by the armfuls. There's almost not enough arms for all the awards. How exciting is it for you guys to be here tonight? Do, are, are you enjoying it or do you still get kind of nervous? Oh, not at all. Nervous, definitely, but um, you know it's going to come to an end, so you need to cherish every moment. You know all of this is going to come to an end, so <laughs> just enjoying every bit of it and not thinking about what's going to happen tomorrow. The last time we spoke, you had just received news of your Oscar nomination. Has your heart yeah. stopped fluttering yet? Uh, a little bit, but not enough yet. I haven't uh, digested the whole thing yet because... It was at 5 in the morning, then we started working at 8, we were working all day, doing interviews, and then it goes, everything goes too fast. No, I know you were there with Selma that morning, did you guys get out to celebrate later? No, we haven't celebrated yet. We're going to celebrate tomorrow, I think, with uh, the nomination. Now, are you, when you come and you're a nominee at these things, are you nervous at all, or, or are you laid back about it? No, I do get a little bit nervous. Have you prepared your speech? Or are you going to wing it if you win? No, I mean, you prepare, prepare something just in case, but truly, just to be here nominated 
it's such an honor for me. This this ceremony is one of the most special ceremonies there are because it's your fellow actors, and you know they are voting for you, and it means means a lot. Whatever happens, this day is very special to me.